In the last video, we talked about the three things that every circuit needs. There's actually two more things that automotive circuits use. They don't need them for the circuit to power up. For example, these bulbs would light if I didn't have a switch and if I didn't have a fuse. But by adding these two components, we actually add protection, which is what the fuse does, and we add a way of controlling the device to be on or off when we want to. Now, electrically speaking, if both of these devices were not there, we could then just have a circuit that works. So what we need for a circuit to work is the power supply, the load, and the ground path. So in this picture, the power supply part of the circuit would be from the positive battery all the way up to the positive side of the bulb. So that's the power supply, which includes the battery or the alternator and the circuit wiring up to the load. And this is also in this picture, including the fuse and the switch. And then we have the load part of the circuit. The load part of the circuit is where the voltage gets used up. In this case, the load part of the circuit is two bulbs that are in series. So these two bulbs are actually going to share the voltage because of the way series circuits work. And the load part would be from here to here. So this is the area of the circuit where we would expect all of the voltage to be used up. The third part of the circuit is the ground path, and that's the other part that's required for the circuit to operate. And that would be the part of the circuit, in this case, from the negative side of the bulb all the way back to the battery, to the negative terminal. In the next video, I'm going to show a short dramatization of how easy the diagnosis of this kind of a circuit or of any basic electrical circuit can be if you understand that there are only these three parts and our job is to find out which one of these three is either missing or faulty. So I'll see you in the next video.